Hi folks, this is Doug Roper with another Fort Nelson Community Update. We're here at the site of the Community Trail, and here to give us an update is Patty Whitten. There were a group of us uh, users that used the airport uh, pretty extensively, for uh, some for running and uh, for biking and rollerblading and whatnot. And uh, when the traffic changed, we saw a problem uh, with uh, large loads and more loads and uh, just the danger of the interaction between uh, recreational people on the airport road uh, and vehicles. So. Um, uh, I was thinking about that and I approached uh, BC Highways and uh, other agencies to ask if they would uh, widen the airport road or perhaps uh, allow us to put a trail along the right of way but uh, because of litigation issues they, they chose not to do that. And I also noticed in the community that uh, especially in springtime and the sun comes out a lot of people uh, began to uh, come out of their caves so to speak and, and use the streets of town for their recreation. And, I noticed, uh, you know, mums pushing uh, baby carriages in the gravel before the, the town had it cleaned up and, uh, you know, struggling with that and families biking and, and you know, uh, you could see the stress of a, a mom and a dad and three kids on a bike with, you know, telling them to stop and wait and looking around and waiting for the traffic to clear. So uh, I began a process and uh, put together a, uh, an article or a, a, pro a proposal to the town uh, that would give us a trail around the community and uh, that uh, everyone could use and and get rid of the whole problem with the interaction of motorized vehicles. And so uh, the town said well we have to be sure that that's supported, the town council did. So I, uh, I put uh, signature sheets all around town and uh, we got uh, over 1100 uh, people that that signed up to support this and and went back to council with that and uh, and the mayor and council the day they decided to uh, adopt that and, and that they would work together to uh, make this trail happen, which is happening now. Yeah, Doug, the piece behind us here is a section of trail that starts at the airport road and it'll be hooking up with, uh, by the reservoir where it comes out that leads to uh, Dan's pub. And one of the interesting features on the trail is this little creek going through here where uh, there's going to be a nice wooden bridge uh, constructed and it's one of the two crossings on the uh, trail that will have a uh, enhanced feature of a bridge and maybe we can have a couple benches of the rest area here but it's it's a very very beautiful here and looking forward to the completion and all this paved it'll be wonderful just the amount of work that that everyone did and 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 thanks to the uh, 2010 uh, olympic uh, committee because uh, through the olympic legacies uh, we were able to obtain uh, some funding from from the province and and some from private sector and, and, and some from the town so this trail is non-motorized uh, there's some funding been allocated for the uh, the uh, upgrading and development of motorized trails where uh, uh, snowmobiles and ATVs and we're looking forward to the time when uh, each uh, interest group uh, has their concerns taken care of so that they can uh, you can have a non-motorized place and people that want to use their uh, sleds and their ATVs that there's a place for them and uh, that the conflicts will be removed and, and, and everybody will end up happy. Thanks Patty for that informative update. We all can't wait to start walking and biking the non-motorized trail. This is Doug Roper with another Fort Nelson Community Update.